It's always a delight to have our missionaries with us. And you're going back so soon. You've only been in the country for four months. But there is work to do. And so four months is all the time they need off, right? <laughs> Actually, Jim, we wish you could be here longer and see more of your churches and uh, have more ministry. But we're always delighted to have Jim and Melody with us and at least two of their four children. And a uh, blessing to have Brother McKnight here tonight. And we know that you both have daughters who are over in that country that I can't name over the Internet. <laughs> so pray for their daughters. <laughs> and uh, a student at Bob Jones University, and then the two who are with us tonight. So, Brother Jim, come and preach the word. Well, it's, it's so uh, good to be with you all, and we're, we, we, we do just marvel um, at the Lord's uh, care and, and, and leading over these past uh, four months uh, that we've been in the States and now, Lord willing, we'll be uh, going back to Chile on, on uh, Wednesday morning. Um, and, uh, uh, and, but we are thankful uh, for, uh, to be able to be at our daughter's graduation in, in, in May and, and then to see her off to, to her, her current field of service also to to, to, to Kenya on the mission team uh, this year, um, and uh, also to um, uh, to uh, to now um, uh, be back uh, uh, here in in, uh, um, in in Collingswood, and and uh, we're thankful. We ha also the Lord gave us uh, two wonderful months of, of being in missionary homes in, in North Carolina, which was a time of, of refreshing to. Uh, to our hearts and, and then to bring our uh, son Jeremy back to his second year of school at Bob Jones as well um, uh, we're, we're, we're thankful and uh, and we uh, it, it, just so thankful to be with with you folks here especially on, on this our last Sunday in the States I'd like to turn our Bibles uh, tonight to um, to Mark chapter 13 uh, verse 32 to verse 37 Mark uh, 13, verse 32-37. Mark 13, 32-37. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch, and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking up our journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Uh, watch ye, therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Let's bow for a word of prayer. Father, we do thank thee, Lord, for the, 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 the fact and the assurance and the promise of, of, of Christ's uh, second coming. Lord, we, we pray that you would help us to uh, 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 live our lives in, 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 in the light of that fact, Lord, that, to help us to be about our ministries in the light of that fact uh, that Christ is, is coming soon. Um, and, and Lord, we, we pray that you would speak to our hearts and, 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 and help us, Lord, to, to, uh, to make your work and the work of missions a, a priority, Lord, and, until uh, that day that, 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 that Christ comes back for his own. And, 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 and Father, just uh, uh, we, we, we pray that you would help us, each one, to be uh, uh, more missions-minded and help us, Lord, to be more um, uh, uh, ready to, 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 to witness, to testify to others what Christ has done for, for our souls and around about us. And Lord, help us to do so in anticipation of, of the trumpet in, in Christ's soon coming. Uh, Lord, stir us uh, through your, your word and, and pray that your spirit would, 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 would apply your word to our hearts' uh, uh, needs. Um, and 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 uh, and and to our uh, daily service, Lord, for the for we ask it in Christ's name, Amen. Um, 
as we uh, are going back to Chile in, in, in just a, a few days, uh, I know for one I, I really wanted to go back with the, the, the emphasis of, of, of thinking of, of Christ's soon coming. And so on this last opportunity um, uh, to, uh, to preach the word uh, here in the States before going back to Chile, I, I wanted to as well to give a missions message that would also speak uh, of, of the, the second coming of, of the Lord Jesus Christ and how that we should work in anticipation um, of his coming. So the message tonight is to, to this exhortation of Christ for us to work and watch and pray uh, till, till Christ comes. Um, and, and that's uh, the exhortation that we would like to, to leave with, with, with each of us uh, 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 tonight. And the, the second coming of Christ the, the fact that he is coming soon, it should be to, to each of us uh, in the Lord's work our highest motivation, really, that, that, uh, uh, of, of the shortness of time till, till the Lord Jesus Christ returns for, for his own. Um, the fact that he is coming, home, coming for his own, and it should be our uh, greatest motivation and, and our hope um, as we uh, uh, serve the Lord. As uh, we minister today, it's uh, obvious to, 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 to see the, the difficulties in, in, in the, the darkness, of the, the spiritual darkness of the days that are uh, about us, and, and they're only confirmed by the Lord Jesus Christ, and, 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 um, and affirm the fact uh, that he is uh, coming soon. I was in, in Psalm uh, 92, uh, it, it, it says that when the wicked... Uh, spring is a grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. When we see uh, wickedness abound, judgment will come, and, and will and mu must come. We anticipate the, the, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, and it, and it um, presses us with a greater urgency um, in the time that we have uh, to, to preach the gospel, to preach the word, and, 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 to, and to continue on. I recently was speaking in one church about uh, 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 Joseph and, and how that he sent his brethren back to tell Jacob to, to come to, to, to Egypt and, 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 he, and he told them to, to make haste and, and twice he said uh, make haste, hurry, hurry and, 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 and tell him that they, that they must come to, to, to Egypt to, to, to be saved and, and tell my father to, to, to hurry uh, 130 old, year, years old as he was, but tell him to hurry um, and, 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 and to come to, 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 to Egypt and, 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 and to come to me. Um, and this is, there's an, an urgency about our, 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 our message and an urgency about our work. These past few months, we've, we've been in mission homes in, in uh, North Carolina, and, and uh, I think it was something that that uh, the Lord used to remind us of the importance of, 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 of the work that we're about. In, in talking to other missionaries and hearing the attacks that they're under and the trials that they're under and the difficulties that they go through, um, uh, 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 Satan knows um, really the, the importance of, of the work of missions. When we arrived at the homes there, there we saw flagposts outside of the mission homes one uh, with a flag representing every country where the missionaries that were staying at the mission homes worked and served. And we saw that Chilean flag flying there, and it reminded us that, that we're ambassadors. And, and the work that the Lord has called us to is, is important, and it's of the greatest uh, importance and of the greatest urgence. The, the passage that I would like to share with you tonight in, in Mark 13 I remember reading a, a message some years ago by Robert Murray McShane, the great Presbyterian uh, pastor from, from uh, Scotland, on, on, on this very uh, uh, passage. But, but again, speaking of this, the, the, the duties that we must be about until the Lord Jesus Christ comes to work, to watch, to pray, uh, till the Lord Jesus uh, comes. Um, the, the passage here is Mark 13, uh, 32 to 37. It's very similar to uh, some of the other um, uh, uh, parables that we, we, we see, in, especially in, in the Olivet Discourse and, and where uh, of, of the faithful steward and of the unfaithful uh, steward. Um, but it is different. It is distinct. Um, this, uh, 
this last parable that's given here in this Olivet Discourse in, in, in Mark uh, 13. And there's some added details w which are different and, 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 and interesting in, in, in this uh, parable, especially of the porter uh, that is mentioned here. And of uh, the, the Son of Man as a man taking up our journey, leaving his house, giving authority to his servants, to every man his work, and commanding the porter to watch. The emphasis um, uh, here uh, that stands out in this passage is, is, is the word to watch. Um, uh, and the Lord wants us to be watching with uh, anticipation, watching anticipation of his coming, watching with anticipation of Satan's attacks and of his deceit in, in the last uh, days, to be watching for souls um, that need the Savior. All of these duties uh, fall on us and are of the utmost urgency as we um, uh, believe with all of our hearts that, that the, the, the coming of Christ is sooner than ever we thought um, uh, before. But Christ has promised to come. And, and with that promise and with that uh, assurance um, uh, and with that hope, um, uh, we continue on and, and, and we must work and watch and pray uh, till the Lord Jesus Christ comes uh, for, for his house, till he comes for, for his own. Um, as we consider this passage, it, it speaks how the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, as a man, he, he took a far journey, uh, leaving his house. Um, it's interesting, the, the whole Olivet Discourse, um, it starts in, in, back in, in, in Matthew 23 and, and Christ's words to the Pharisees and, and, uh, he, uh, and, and how that they had left their house desolate. But here, we, we, here it speaks of the house that the Lord has, has left, his, his house, his church, uh, that he has redeemed um, with his blood. And just like to, to, to speak on this for a few moments here, the, 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 the house that, that, that Christ uh, has left. And I'd like to tell a little story from, from Chile as well. Um, we've ministered now in, in Chile for about uh, 23 years. And for the greater part of that, uh, of those 23 years, for about 21 years, we've, we've lived in, in Arica, uh, Chile, on the northern border uh, of, of the, the, the nation of Chile. Um, and all those years, we, we have rented a, a house there. And when we arrived there, we went to, uh, 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 to uh, a rental agency, and we rented the house. But all those years, we had never met the owner. And we, we had lived in that house and, 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 uh, for oh, about 20 years. Um, and we had never met the owner uh, during all that time. We went to the rental agency, and then later on, the rental agency closed, and, and then we just we talked to the owner by, on the phone, and we would send the, uh, uh, or, or, or deposit the checks into, into his, his account, and, and, that, and that's how we would do things. And then one day, we, there was a knock at our door, and it was the owner. And we met him for the first time after uh, about uh, uh, 20 years uh, uh, living in, 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 in that one house. Um, and he had come. Obviously, he didn't build the house. He didn't uh, buy the house to, to leave the house uh, 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 forever. He intended to come back to it, um, uh, to that house that, that he built, to that house uh, that he, he purchased. It was always his intention to do so. And so the Lord Jesus Christ as well, we can, we can say the very same thing of him. Uh, Hebrews 3.6 says uh, that, that uh, of the church that whose house we are. We are his house, the, uh, the redeemed of the Lord Jesus Christ, those that he has purchased and those that he has bought with his blood. We are his house. Um, and, and he has not built his house and purchased his house to, to leave his house, but he is, his intention always to come back for it. And so we can anticipate that. We need to be to, to working, watching, praying, um, because Christ is coming back for his house. Christ is coming back for his house, so that, that, he, uh, that he is the foundation of. No other foundation is laid except that which is laid, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, salvation in his name is, 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 is exclusive. Salvation in his name is, is, is effectual. Salvation in his name is, is essential. Um, we must be saved. 
um, if, 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 if we have all the world and do not have him, we lose our own soul. Um, uh, the most important thing in the world is to have Christ. And so there is an urgency. There is an uh, importance about what you do here, about what we do there, um, and that we must continue on uh, faithfully uh, until Christ comes. Uh, Christ is the foundation of, 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 of his church. Uh, he uh, built it. Um, uh, any Christians or, 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 or professing Christians that we have produced are not true Christians. Uh, the believer is, is Christ's workmanship. Um, he is the only one that can make a Christian. And he's the only one that, that can save the soul. He purchases the believer with his, his, his blood. He owns the church. It is his. And, and now in heaven, uh, he intercedes for it. Uh, and while we are here, he intercedes for us. And he is planning to come back soon um, uh, for, for, for his own. It's a wonderful thing. But, but we are his house. We are his house. And Christ is coming back for it. Um, but meanwhile, in the meantime, um, uh, Christ has given certain duties uh, to those uh, um, th that he has left with his house here upon, upon the earth. And we'll, we'll look at that in a few moments here, but his, we, we see here his intentions uh, concerning um, his, his house. And his intentions, of course, to, to return for it, his intentions for, for, for us to do our part, to be... To, to be faithful, uh, to, to, to work, um, to, to sow the seed of the word, to preach the, the gospel, to plead uh, with men for their salvation, for men uh, before God in, 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 in prayer and in, in intercession, um, that, his, uh, that his house uh, would, 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 would prosper and, and until, until he comes. And, and that's his, his concern for, for it. And his intentions on his part to intercede um, for his church and to prepare a place for us in glory and then to come for, for his own. But all of these things, they speak to us of the, the urgency of, of, of what he's called us to do, the importance of what he's called us to do, that he is coming back for this house that he has built. He is coming back for this house house which he is the foundation of. He is coming back for this house that he has purchased with, with his blood. And, and it is true that as you read this passage here, the, 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 the coming of Christ will come in dark, spiritually dark times and in, in, in perilous times. We can uh, anticipate that um, uh, because Christ said that it would be so. Um, and, and here it is speaking of, of, of maybe in, in the second watch or the third watch, um, uh, perhaps at, 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 at in the evening or midnight or, or when the cock crows or in, in the, the breaking of, of, of morning. But, but, but the fact is certain that Christ is coming. And until then, he calls us to, 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 to work. He calls us to, to watch. He calls us uh, to pray. Um, uh, until he comes for his own. What are these duties? Well, we'll look, look here a little bit. Um, again, in um, verse number 34, For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave his authority to, to his, his servants. Um, and, and in the Olivet Discourse, also in Matthew, in various times speaking of, of, of stewards. But the work that he's given us to do to, to, to keep and to defend um, this deposit that, that he has committed unto our trust to dispense faithfully um, uh, the gospel message, to invest uh, in souls, to occupy um, uh, uh, till he comes. You have the two um, uh, parables of the, of the talents and the pounds, very similar but very different. Um, uh, in, in the one, each is given a, a, a different amount of, of talents. And perhaps we, 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 we could apply that, although the word talent, speaking of quantities of, 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 um, of silver or, 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 or money, but, but um, we could apply that to talents and to abilities that, that God has, has given to each one that, that differ. Um, 
But then the parable of the pounds. Everyone was given the same. Everyone was given one pound. And we all have the opportunity and the ability. And the responsibility to preach the gospel, to tell the gospel, to testify to others what Christ has done for our soul. That's something that we can all do and that the Lord has called us all to do. I love, too, in Matthew 13, the very last of the series of parables, it talks about the householder and how that he would go into the storehouse and he would bring out things old and new. But that's also our duty, to go continue to the word and to preach the old glorious truths of the gospel and to apply it to men's lives. And that these truths that are old but yet ever new and ever fresh to men's hearts. But that's what the Lord has given us to do and to do it until he comes. So keep on. Keep on. Never let up in that work that he's given us to do. Here it speaks of the porter. And here the passage is unique here. And it differs from Matthew in speaking of the porter. It could be suggested talking about the apostles and things, and surely they had their place in that. But every Christian worker that invites men to Christ and invites men to come in can certainly be referred to here. That he has given to each of us this responsibility to invite men to come in. And we're to watch, to watch for Satan's attacks, to watch for the souls of men, to watch for Christ's coming, to watch and pray, to watch for the answer that God would give us to our prayers. I've always loved one passage in particular back in 2 Chronicles 23 where Athaliah was put out as queen. And when you read through that chapter, and I was just doing it again today, but I was underlining in my Bible every time it says all the people, every man, all the nation had a part in that. When Joash was put in as king and Jehoshaphat and the priest and all had a part in that work when Athaliah was put out and the true king was put in his place. And it says that all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord, it said in that passage in 2 Chronicles 23.6. But we all have a work to do. And here it says every man is given his work. You know, I've always believed that, that every believer has certain gifts and abilities and talents that others may not possess. And there's something each one of us can do for the Lord to prosper and to Christ's kingdom and to advance Christ's kingdom and work. I remember when we were at seminary, dear Mr. Davidson, Alexander Davidson, some of you would remember him, he would always come to our seminary every few weeks with his station wagon full of vegetables for the students. And that was his talent, that was his gift. I didn't eat many vegetables, but the others did and they were blessed by it. And that was a special talent the Lord gave him. When we left college to go up to face seminary, there was a dear lady, Mrs. Bowden. She also had a very special talent. She knew it was cold up there, and so she would knit Afghan blankets for each of the students that would go from Shelton College to face seminary. And that was her special talent and work that she would do for the Lord. And the Lord has given to every man a work. Everyone is called to watch. That's one of the tremendous 
uh, things of, of this church here too and the, of the history of this church how that it was the women really in this church uh, back in the 1930s that that alerted uh, um, the leaders and the, the pastor of, of the liberalism and modernism um, that had entered into the missions of the Presbyterian Church and the women here in this church played a, a major role um, uh, uh, in, in uh, the, what became our independent board for Presbyterian Foreign Missions but because everyone was called to watch everyone was called uh, uh, to search the scriptures everyone is called to, to work and that's the key for, 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 for Christ's body to function in the, the best way but, but here as, as, as we are assured of the fact of Christ's soon coming he, 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 he calls us to to, um, to, to work as, as, as his servants, uh, porters, doorkeepers, um, inviting men in, but to every man he's given a, a work to do uh, till he comes uh, for, for his own. And there are certain attitudes that he, he calls us to have, uh, uh, appropriate attitudes and activities. We're, we're told here to take heed uh, and watch. They're speaking of alertness, uh, of, of alertness uh, to, to, to work. Um, to pray uh, these activities uh, that we ought to be about uh, uh, to take heed and to watch certainly their um, uh, uh, defensive measures uh, to work offensive measures um, but to pray imploring God that he would prosper the two um, uh, that, that, that he, except the Lord build the house we labor in vain we can work and work and work, and, and if, 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 if the Lord is not in it and does not bless it, um, it, it, it is all in vain without him. Except the Lord keep the house or the city. If, if, if he be not the watchman, um, we watch in, in, in vain. And, and so he calls us not only to, 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 to work and, and to watch, but to pray. That, that, that God would do uh, those two things on our behalf. Um, uh, this is, is, is what he calls us to do. We've, uh, these duties are to be carried out together. You know, is there value in each one? Yes. But they all need to be done. Uh, we cannot just do one and not the other. If we just watch and we don't work, um, if, 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 we, we, if we pray and we don't work and don't watch, um, uh, uh, really not much will come of it. We need to be doing all three, working, watching, praying, um, and to do the, the three simultaneously until, until Christ uh, comes. Um, again, going back to another passage in, in Nehemiah uh, chapter 4, verse 6 and 9, um, again, those three duties were, uh, were carried out. Um, uh, that the people had a mind to work, um, uh, uh, that they all uh, set to watch for the, the enemies round about, and that they would pray to their God. And, and the Lord kept them, and the Lord prospered their work, um, and the work was completed and done to the glory of God. Um, remember in Judges 7 with, 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 with Gideon, and I remember Dr. McIntyre so often speaking about Gideon and about Gideon's band. That was a favorite theme, certain, certainly of him. But, but um, remember how Gideon's band was whittled down from 32,000 to 10,000 and then down to, down to 300. Well, why? Um, it, it, it's because that, that first of all, uh, it was said that, that, that God wanted ones that were humble, that didn't believe that they delivered themselves by their own might, but that it was God that delivered them. He wanted men that were courageous, and that, that, that caused the first cut of men. All those that were, were, were fearful uh, go back. Uh, and then it was whittled down from 32,000 to, to 10,000. But then there was a final characteristic and quality that that is also of the utmost importance and uh, to be watchful and that in that final cut those ones that brought the water up to their uh, mouths those are the ones that the Lord would use by, by which he would deliver uh, his people in, in battle uh, those 300 um, uh, those that the, the Lord would use he wants us to, to be 
courageous in our work, but humble and dependent upon him in prayer and realizing that only he can give the victory. And then to be, to also, to be, to be alert and watching for Satan's attacks and inroads. And it was something I learned when I was, for the first, when I taught in Bible club down in Florida years ago at our, in Bible college. And one of the first Christian service activities I had the privilege to participate in was in a Bible club. And I learned there to pray with one eye open. And you had to, or the children would be out the door. You had to learn to pray with one eye open. But that's really what it's saying here too, that we need to be alert and to watch for Satan's attacks, to watch for God's answer on the way, to watch for Christ's coming, to watch that we fall not into temptation. But keep on working, keep on watching, keep on praying until Christ comes. What is our motivation in all of this? Well, there are three things here that I'd like to stress. And his command, his coming, and then his committal to us. These things should motivate us. And as we go back to Chile now this week, I hope I never lose sight of these three things. His command, he's commanded us to work, to watch, and to pray until he comes. And in obedience to him, we must do so. But then his coming, his coming, the fact that Christ is coming soon. There is a deadline about the work of missions. There is an urgency about the work of missions. All that we see in the world, the signs around about us, indicate that Christ's coming is soon. And for that reason, we need to continue because we don't know the time. I remember at seminary one time I was told that my pastor was coming from Minnesota. He was coming to visit me. But he didn't tell me when, so I had to get my room really clean. It had never been so clean, I guess. But he said he was coming. And sure enough, he did come. But in that respect, too, the Lord doesn't tell us when, but only the fact that he is and that it will be soon. His coming will be sudden. It could be, as the pastor said, in the evening or midnight at the cock crowing or morning, the second or third watch in Luke 12, 38. We need to be alert if it is the long haul that we would wait. A privilege I had at our Bible conference in Cape May for quite a number of years was to work as night watchman. And I remember that there were – I had several things that kept me from falling asleep on the job there as night watchman. The one thing, I had the constant fear that if I fell asleep, I would wake up and all the furniture around me in the lobby of the Christian Admiral would be gone, you know, and that Mr. Ide would be standing right there looking at me. And I always had that fear, so it kept me from falling asleep. But we know that Christ is coming soon. And here this passage indicates that it will come in time of spiritual darkness. It could come now. It could come in the evening. But things could even progress even more worse. But it will be a time of spiritual darkness when Christ comes. So we should not be discouraged by that. We should not quit because of that. We should not give up because of that. We need to keep on and keep on working. And as we work and watch and pray, that's when the Lord blesses. And 
and, and, and prospers, um, uh, his work as, as, as we do. But we need to, to keep on because his coming uh, will be sudden. Um, and, and, um, uh, and we need to, 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 to work and, and to watch and to pray that we might uh, please him and be found doing his will when he comes. That should be our utmost desire. And, and uh, as the coming of Christ approaches, um, it's my highest uh, desire and, uh, and, and uh, uh, to be found doing his will when he comes, whether it be um, in Chile or, 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 or here in the States, but to, to be faithful to him, to be in obedience to him, to be doing his work and his will, um, to be preaching his word, to not deviate from the course but to be faithful unto the end until, until Christ comes. Um, and the idea here is that, that whether it be at evening, whether it be at midnight, whether it be at the cock crowing, whether it be at the breaking of day, that the soldier be found at his post doing what he was set to do. Um, uh, and, 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 and so we urge and encourage us, one another, uh, to, to be doing this until the Lord Jesus Christ comes, that we might because of his commit, committal to us, that we might, might give a good account, that we might be found ready in doing his will when he comes. Uh, one day soon, um, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ will come back for his house. Uh, uh, and, and this house that, that, that he is the foundation of, this house that he built, this house uh, that he purchased with his blood, he will come for. And just as in Chile, um, uh, uh, one day, we received a knock at the door, and, and, and behold, there was the, the, the owner of the house. He had come back. Um, and, and, and so Christ will come back for this house as well. And so keep on working, keep on watching, keep on praying till he comes. Romans 13, 11, now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. As the years go by, and, 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 and we, we know that we're, we're, we're closer to Christ's coming. Keep on working, keep on watching, keep on praying. I remember some years ago, also in Cape May, and forgive me for using all the illustrations from there, but they, they often come to mind. But I remember one year I was uh, there in, in, in Cape May in, in the winter. It's a very lonely place there in the winter in, in, in Cape May. But I uh, had to walk from the Christian Admiral to the bus stop, and I had two suitcases. And it, it, had, it had just um, snowed there, and so there was snow on the ground. And, and I was walking alone, and the town was just about empty in, in the winter there. And, and, I, and I was walking, and it seemed so long, the, 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 the journey. Sometimes I was ready to go back, you know. But then I would look back, and, well, uh, you know, I've come this far, and, and I can go on a little bit further. And, 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 and kept on going, kept on going. And, 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 and then, well, it's, 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 it's too far, much closer uh, to, to, to go all the way to the stop than it is to go back. So, so I keep on. Um, and, 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 and kept on until it got to that bus stop there. But, but, but the coming of Christ is, is approaching. Um, I, uh, we can all work and watch and pray until he comes. And as we work in Chile, we know that what, what keeps us going is also your prayers here. And, and so we, we covet your prayers, brethren, and, 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 and let's keep on doing that one for another um, until Christ comes. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the fact of Christ's coming and help us to watch, uh, help us to work, uh, help us to pray um, uh, in, until he comes. And Father, we, we pray that you would in, encourage our workers here, especially the, the, the doorkeepers, uh, those who, uh, uh, especially those in full-time work and, and ministry and, 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 and service, Lord, we, we pray that you would encourage them. Um, and, and uh, in, in their duties, but help us all to be uh, to do our work that you've given us to do, and to do so faithfully, loyally, until Christ comes again for His house. And 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 Lord, help us to uh, to reach more that more would be a part of that house that He comes uh, to possess. And Lord, we we just thank you so much, Lord, for the fact of Christ coming. It's our motivation. It's our hope. Lord, keep us working, watching, praying till Christ comes, for we ask it in his name.